They'll be arraigned in Center County on Thursday on fugitive from justice charges. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The arrest of John Yount in Idaho this week comes after countless hours of investigation by state police and the FBI. Tonight, Mike Porter tells us about another key player in the investigation, a Clearfield Law intern who refused to give up. Mark Falvo was an intern in the Clearfield County District Attorney's Office last summer when he joined the John Yon investigation. Growing up in the Clearfield area, um, you usually hear the name uh, Yon. And uh, when I was working in the office, I had the opportunity to go through uh, the trial transcripts. And Falvo began studying the stacks of reports from Young's conviction for the 1966 murder of Dubois teenager Pamela Sue Reimer to his escape from Rockview State Prison with the help of York County housewife Diane Broadbeck more than two years ago. Money for the investigation ran out and law school took Falvo to Ohio, but his desire to solve the case grew stronger. It was like a bug, and once it had bit me, uh, I was just determined to see it the whole way through. Falvo shared what he knew with the producers of NBC's Unsolved Mysteries program who featured the case on nationwide television last month. A viewer recognized Broadbeck and contacted police. It, it seems rather apparent that the uh, airing of the NBC program Unsolved Mysteries uh, impacted very strongly on this case. All told, Falvo spent an average of five hours a day for the past year working on the Yon investigation, so with this week's arrests, he's breathing a sigh of relief. And as Steve Kearns tells us, the Reimer family is also glad John Yon is no longer an unsolved mystery.